Earlier today, I was watching a YouTube short from comedian Ben Palmer, who is hilarious. Links to his channel in the description. Where he went into a mass job interview call for a company called U.S. Standard Products to let the other interviewees know what was up. Are you guys all interviewing for this? For this job? Yes. Oh, okay. We'll just let you know this company is a scam. They scam people. They send people stuff in the mail, and then they try to charge them for it. So I just hope you all are aware of it. They have terrible reviews on Google if you see it. So just a heads up, you, you'll be working for a scam company, a company that actually tries to steal money from people. Somehow they're not, somehow they're not, they're getting away with it, but I just want to give everyone a heads up. So just be aware of that. If you do get hired by them, you'll be working for a scam company. So I wanted to let him say his thing. I mean, I don't know where he's getting his information from, but I don't, I wasn't on, um, so I don't know what he said. So yeah, you'll, something you'll about us being me. a scam or something. I don't know. Uh, but okay, you know, nice. you guys can hear our little spiel and you can decide for yourselves. Oh well, I apologize for that. Let me just email our HR department. After watching Ben short, I wasn't able to find a ton of information about us standard products, but of course, I ended up on Reddit, where I found this post from four years ago. I got a call yesterday from some jabroni with U.S. standard products that knew my name and company. The dude was pretty slick, saying we had met on the job site a while back and asked how things were going. He seemed to have some decent detail information on the job, and I don't think too much of it because random job sales reps hit the job site pretty often. He said he was sending me a care package with a windbreaker or something, and if the company address was correct. I said it was, and that we got most packages here since deliveries to the job site are tough for UPS or FedEx until the building was up. At the end of the call, he asked if he could send me some caution tape and safety glasses if we used that sort of stuff. I said, yeah, that's cool. Today, I got a call from some girl named Danielle confirming the conversation from yesterday and the shipping address and the job number for the invoice. I had a weird feeling and started Googling the company. Turns out it's a scam for sending stupidly overpriced crap like $400 caution tape and $200 safety glasses. Looks like they're preying on foremen and supers and sneak in the order under the guise of a free sample. And then the office pays the invoice before anyone notices this. Anyone else get calls like that before? And I noticed these. Six days ago, looking for this company up because of a YouTube short telling people they're a scam company. Me too, I guess it's true. <laughs> and a few other people reporting similar experiences. BBB has pages of complaints for them. We'll check that out next. All right. Oh, uh, let's check out their Better Business Bureau page. Holy. <laughs> 1.05 out of 5 stars with a solid F rating. Here's in business 8. 78 complaints closed in the last three years, 39 in the last 12 months. So I, I read through a lot of the uh, complaints on their Better Business Bureau page, and the general theme seems to be trying to exploit a disconnect between like job site workers and accounting departments. And I assume that this is uh, more targeted at larger companies who aren't going to miss $1,000 worth of um, earplugs showing up randomly. But, uh, basically, they, they'll call uh, an individual, act like they know the person or their friends or they've done business with them before, and then they'll they'll try to s send them like free samples or, or free stuff like a football shirt uh, was a common thing I saw on several of these complaints or a hat. Um, and then they will uh, <clears throat> send a bill um, with those items. They're on YouTube too. 317 subs. Not bad, you have standard product. Let's see. Their intro video was fantastic, if I remember correctly. Yep, here it is. You have standard products promotional video. Oh, you want me to turn the sound on? Yeah, it is. There, there is no sound. Just this uh, 360p ultra wide footage for 20 seconds. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, industrial strength products, construction products. Yeah, 
It all checks out. Charitable partners. All right. About us. Mission to provide American industry with some of the highest quality products available and give back to the people that most deserve it by supporting those less fortunate individuals and their families with the financial and personal commitment they so richly deserve. Couldn't agree more, U.S. Navy. Ooh, we're a terrible community committed to our troops, our vets, and to children struggling against handicaps. Triple threat. Wait a second. Our address is a P.O. box in New Jersey. Hmm. Perhaps there's uh, more, or maybe less, to this company than it seems. Maybe uh, maybe some of the frequently asked questions will help clear it up. Huh. Well, okay. Uh... U.S. Standard Products highlights What is this? Safety standards are at the core of any organization. Some workplaces, factory, or a factory. Have three embedded videos that all start at once. That's uh, amazing. All right. Well, avoid the press page. Which, okay, these are all links to other websites that presumably don't know their links are even on here. But this is just the website. Uh, a company is really about its products, obviously. So let's see what they got. Oh, I gotta choose. Uh, let's go with construction products. Meeting your construction needs. Dust mask, safety goggles, earplugs, visibility products. Surely nobody could ever need anything but that. And surely they couldn't just go to Walmart or any store. What about safety products? Ah. Hmm. Well, okay. Green cleaning products. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Oh, I can't click on it, though, because it's not real. <laughs> Let's check out some of the uh, U.S. standard products pricing. Here. Holy hundred dollars for a box of gloves. Hundred and eighty dollars for 12 glasses. Four hundred dollars for caution. Four hundred dollars for 200 earplugs. What? Literally a dollar an earplug for these foam pieces of crap. All right, let's check out the rest of their products. View all. Ah, oh yeah, that's it. Guess I don't really know what I expected. So clearly this company isn't particularly well liked by its customers and has put very little effort into its outward facing image. But hey, that's like the Comcast playbook and it's still in business because it's not technically a scam. Legally. What about the employees, like the cheerful one we saw in Ben's video? Well, if we check out Glassdoor, it paints a very different image than the customer reviews, with a 4.1 star average employee rating, which... Wait, what's that? Oh, boy. Okay, so I looked through a bunch of these reviews as well, and there are a good deal of five-star and one-star ratings. Uh, most of the five stars are some variant of, work hard, play hard, bro. Everyone here is hella rich and chill. While the one-stars look something more like this. Scammy. That review was from two weeks ago. Uh, I noticed that Jason Rubach listed as the CEO, and evidently this is not his only venture. He maintains a LinkedIn page that looks like it belongs to someone who wrote a five-star review for U.S. Standard Products, and includes gems like this. Huh. So, is U.S. Standard Products a scam company? I won't say, because if they are operating in a less than ethical manner, a defamation lawsuit probably isn't outside the realm of possibility, and they have been in business for eight years, which seems like a really long time for a company that doesn't do any legitimate business. 
It's also worth noting that the company responded to nearly every accusation filed with the BBB with an explanation of some sort, though many of the customers did not find their answers satisfactory. That said, it does indicate that the company invests some time and effort into maintaining their name in some way, even if they don't bring that same energy to their YouTube page. So, what do you think? Is this company a scam, or has it gotten a bad rap from the actions of a few unethical sales humans? If the company is a scam, how has it existed for so long? Let me know in the comments. Play me out, U.S. Standard Products. The history of safety equipment. U.S. Standard Products explain that workplace safety concerns began in Europe with the labor movement during the Industrial Revolution. From construction sites to factories, the line between life and death was very thin. Again.